Welcome once again to an episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard. And in a previous episode, I talked about some security, uh, Firefox plugins, some things about um, resetting your browser, emptying cookies, things like that. In fact, you probably heard about these things, these browser cookies. Well, I'm going to tell you something today about a thing called flash cookies that you may not have known existed, and you have no idea probably where they're located on your computer or how to get rid of them. And I'm going to show you a way that you can do that, OK? Now, cookies are a way for your computer to store information about places that you've gone. Now, that does give you maybe a privacy concern, but it also makes it easier for you when you browse because it stores information about you, such as your passwords and things that you've logged on recently, so you don't have to log in every time you reopen your browser, which can be handy when you're doing things like Google Mail on your computer all day long. So. Uh, in checking that, you may want to keep the flash cookies. So the cookies are, you know, does give you a little privacy concern, but it does help make your browsing a little easier. But if you wanted to delete them, you always went to the cookies and hit delete and your preferences in your browser. But there's additional data that's stored on your hard drive. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. One of the ways you can do it is if you do use the Firefox browser, there is a plugin called Better Privacy. And Better Privacy can give you better privacy by uh, avoiding these kind of flash plugins. So that's something you could download and install. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. And it even works with the most recent version of Firefox up to 3.6. So it's uh, uh, very stable. Uh, to be able to use. And the, the reviews, in fact, if you s scroll down here, 123 reviews, five stars. So people are in love with this little pr uh, plugin. That's, again, one of the great things about Firefox are the plugins. But uh, if you use a Mac, there is a program you can actually download as well called Flush. It's an app that kind of deletes all of those cookies for you. By the way, I'll have links to all of these uh, sites that I'm going to on our website at askthetechies.com for this episode on flash cookies. You will be able to uh, uh, find links to where you can access all the sites that I'm talking about. Anyway, you can download this program and it can show you a list of all of your uh, flash cookies and delete them for you. Now, Adobe also provides you a solution. And if you go to this website, and it's kind of a long one, uh, and that's why I'm going to have a link to it on our website. Um, it basically pulls up a little flash window, uh, and you pretty much have to have flash installed on your, on your computer these days. Everything works with flash. In fact, in here we can see some of the cookies that I've already got from sites that I've been to, such as Google Mail. Big surprise there, so that's kind of handy. And I can choose which ones I want to get rid of. If the YouTube cookies information, I can delete that one if I want. All I have to do is say delete website. And I can confirm that YouTube's going to be gone. And now, whatever flash information in that flash cookie was saved on my hard drive. By the way, these things are called locally shared objects, LSOs, because uh, it's stored locally on your hard drive. But now that one's gone. And now there's no memory of what I've done on YouTube. Um, I can also adjust them. I can say for like blinkx.com, which is a video distribution site, um, you can s slide this down and say give them less uh, ability to store uh, flash information on my hard drive. Or I can crank it up and make it even larger to one megabyte instead of 100 kilobytes. So you can tailor that a little bit. If I want to get rid of all of them, I can just say delete all sites. And then I can, then they're all history, they're all gone. Confirm. Now I'll find I'll probably have to log into my Google uh, Mail account again because that's now lost. Uh, so you probably want to keep some of these up, but this is a way that you can customize it, you can tailor it. There's some other tabs up here that might be helpful to you in doing that as well. Hopefully this helps you to be a little more secure and notified you about something you didn't know about that was stored on your computer. You know, there's a lot of stuff that's stored on your computer that you don't know about. If ever you're going to give away your computer, you, even if you do this and delete your browser cookies, browser history, it might not be a bad idea to just delete that whole account. And the way you do that is just create another administrator account on your computer and then log into that one and then delete the other one. And that way, everything is completely gone. Although I suppose, you know, if, if someone did an FBI search, they could go in and find your data unless you zeroed out the data. But this is a way that they don't easily get access to that information. Before you donate it to a church or, or, or a friend, something like that, or pass it on. So that can clear out some of your information. All right? Hopefully you find this helpful. If you have any other questions, be sure to send them to me at questions at askthetechies.com. 